No, I've had enough of sanding. I had to hit it with 80 grit just to get some of the finish off. I wiped it down with a damp towel just to see what kind of color you get. So it's gonna have all these little blotchy spots. That's all in the wood. I can sand forever. And it's gonna be a little blotchy after I stain it, especially down in these areas here around the butt pad. Not enough great, um, not good enough grain for me to go any further. Got the heavy scratches out. It's sanded down to 220. I'll let it dry out for a few days. And then I'll play with the, uh, the stain. I might hit it with the trans tint dye. And see what happens. I might do something different. I have a amber. <clears throat> it's like a bright yellow. I'll try. I might just... Like I said, just hit it with the black real quick, let it soak in, and then just give it a good wipe, and maybe that will make some of the grain pop. And then I'll just hit it with some tongue oil or true oil. I think I'll hit. I think I'll do true oil on this one, just because I haven't done a true oil stock in a lot. These cheap plastic recoil pads. You can leave them right on there. They sand pretty well. I'm not gonna go too crazy. You can see where I, it's not quite even with the wood. It doesn't file, but it's a lot better than it was from the factory. It'll look better too once it's all done. And um, when you're all done, you can hit that with some fine paper and it'll polish up nice and it'll look good. That's as, that's as crazy as I'm going to get with it. I'm not sure. Uh, see, if it didn't have all this blotchiness deep into the grain, like all through here and everything, especially through the pistol grip. Um, I might do something, and you can still see, still got a lot of sanding to do. It's just a rough sanding. You can still see some sanding marks. If you look at it at the right angle. Those will all go away though, once you start finishing it up. Camera shows quite a bit. It's not too bad. But between the stripper and Wiping it down a few times. It's a little soft, so I'll let it dry. I'll hit it with 220 again real quick, and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna do for a finish. It'll look a lot better than the factory did, though. Well, you don't always get nice wood underneath them. Some stocks come out better than others. This is an old 19, late 50s, early 60s Crossman 140. This one was just plain brown wood until I stripped it. I didn't go too crazy with this one. I stripped it, I saw what I liked, and I just threw some tongue oil on it. This might be Minwax tongue oil finish. And I did this quite a few years ago, but it's a nice piece. Pretty cool piece of wood underneath, nice grain. And that was hidden by some nasty brown stain paint stuff. <clears throat> Used to go uh, do a little squirrel hunting with this one so I didn't go too crazy. See all the dings and the dents from dropping it over the ears and banging around and It still looks pretty good. One of these days I'll do it again and really give it a 
nice going over. Get an idea of the tints. This is done with tint. That's going for uh, like a Les Paul sun sunburst style. Again, this goes out in the field. This is my uh, red squirrel killer. Got a stock blank from a guy who had it already inletted to fit the air rifle developing a crack I don't know what kind of wood this was it's it was kind of hard but not too hard but as you can see I tried doing a sunburst effect like the Les Paul guitars and this is what I was kind of after this effect here that's what I was kind of going for That's about it. I'm waiting on some uh, I gotta get some more sandpaper and some true oil and get ready to rock. And I got a few other gun stocks to do on top of that. 